welcome back. My name is Ashlyn and thank you so much for being here. Today is going to be kind of like a day in the life video. It is Sunday, which means it is church day, grocery day, and cleaning day. Jordan is off, so his schedule is kind of new for a little bit. For a few weeks, he's going to be on training, so he will be working Monday through Friday, a normal job, normal hours, and then he'll be off on the weekends compared to his last schedule where he works random kind of weird schedules with every other weekend off so he'll be like this until the end of august and then he'll go back to his normal kind of crazy schedule but as of right now until the end of august he'll be off on weekends which is great because we can do stuff together and go to church i'm just gonna like talk for a second so as i get ready the church that we go to is the aviano baptist church downtown aviano and I really love it. Um, I grew up Southern Baptist, so this is kind of like nothing new to me in a way, as in theological and how they do everything at the church because I grew up Southern Baptist. I know it has been literally forever since I last posted. If you actually like care and follow my YouTube channel, um, I know I took like a week break. I took a week break because my friend was here from high school, Lindsay. She was in a vlog way back last spring break. Um, she was here and we went to the Amalfi Coast. That trip was literally so stressful, oh my gosh. I was telling Jordan, like, I'm glad I didn't vlog because I, first of all, it was so stressful. I feel like anytime I would have vlogged, I just would have seemed like in a bad mood or ungrateful and I don't want to come across as that because I wasn't. So I was like, kind of glad I didn't vlog. And at the same time, we were so busy the whole freaking time. Like, I would have had no time to vlog. Like, I literally would have had no time to vlog the camera. And I think I'm just going to start uploading once a week. I was doing twice a week, but I feel like when I do twice a week, my content isn't as strong as I want it to be. Like, I'd rather put my time into one video a week and making it, like, really good and something that I enjoy instead of, like, forcing two videos. So I just finished my makeup and I'm brushing my hair out now. I curled my hair, like, two or three days ago but my hair is naturally curly so it is dry so typically i just put some dry shampoo or baby powder up here and i'm good to go for like four to five days which i love because i hate washing my hair here's my messy closet for you but it is summer so i'm definitely gonna be wearing a dress i haven't worn this dress in a long time i've only worn this dress once i think um it's just this cute little dress i'm sure it's from like a boutique but i got it from the thrift store back in the states this lighting situation is not in my favor today, but we just got to the coffee shop. Y'all, I'm trying to like make it to where you can see my face, but the light is like... So when I go to church, I like to take notes because I feel like it gets me engaged in the sermon and it helps me like remind things when I write things down. So I have this book. It's super cute. I got it from Ross. It was $2.99, but I just keep all of my notes in here and... I've had a few of these before, but I've never, like, finished writing in them. Like, I've never gotten to the last page, and so this is as far as I've gotten through. This is what I've written, and this is what I've not written. So I'm a little bit, I'm almost halfway, and I'm really excited because I really want to fill these books. And then this is the Bible that I have. It is so beautiful. I really want to get another one like this, but um, this one's a New King James version. And I like New King James. I just feel like... I like ESV a little bit more, but this one has some really cute illustrations in it. Like it has the illustrations in here, which I really like. It kind of like gives me something to smile about when I'm like reading. Okay, everybody, we are back home. Like I said, we went to church. Oh my goodness, my hair. We went to church and then afterwards we went to the commissary to get groceries. For anybody who's watched my grocery hauls, you know that typically we go to the commissary and then to the Italian grocery store because we live overseas and the Italian grocery store is tons cheaper than the commissary. The commissary prices are ridiculous. Like I was telling Jordan that I don't know how this is not illegal because some of the stuff here is so expensive. Um, and I looked at my list and we realized that we were only getting a few things at the Italian store this week as of like what we needed. Because some weeks we spend most of our money in groceries at an Italian store and some weeks we don't. This week was just a week where we didn't have to get much. So, we got some sour cream. I'm handing it to Jordan. And then I got two things of the seal plate yogurt because I don't like any of this stuff on the pot of me. 
cheese slices. Sorry. Now the fridge is covering my face. That's fine. Ground beef from the base. It comes in this really cool package. I like it. It's not like the styrofoam stuff. Chicken tenders for chicken salads we're having. And some frozen strawberries for smoothies and whatnot. And it's just another yogurt. And then I've been loving to eat these for lunch. They're like children's charcuterie in my opinion. Some Lunchables. Then we got some cheese for sandwiches from the commissary. Some um, type of pork thing. It's hot, like spicy. It's also warm too. And then Uncrustables for Jordan, because he's a child too. For children at heart, oh you know. And then some frozen blueberries again for smoothies and stuff. A block of Monterey Jack. <clears throat> Which Monterey Jack, yeah, this stuff is kind of warm. Yeah, all the stuff. Like, Monterey this is Jack out. and cheddar you will not find on the economy, I believe. So we have to buy them here. Some more packaged meat for lunch uh, sandwiches. Chocolate milk for Jordan. Some honey. We got a bunch of tomatoes for sandwiches, salads, all that stuff. And some onions, which probably will go over here. Some baby carrots. And then a fourth of a watermelon. They have yellow watermelon on the economy and it literally is so good. Then two big potatoes Bacon. for dinner. Then we got a bunch of bananas and chili powder. Chili powder I also can't find on the economy. Some barbecue chips because it's summertime and I feel like I like chips in the summertime. Lawn bags, some uh, black uh, lawn bags so like Jordan Bowes he can like put it in a bag and not have just to dump it. Some sponges. And I got this candle because it was on sale and we don't have like any candles and this is really, it smells really good. You go with this. Then we got a can of corn. These are cheaper to get on the economy too. And toothpaste, which is also cheaper to get on the economy. And then some toilet bowl cleaner. Some peanut butter, grape jelly, um, my unsweetened almond milk, um, some cinnamon applesauce, and then Two things of pop tarts, like I said. Children at heart, and then we also had a case of Dr. Peppers and a case of waters, and that was it. How much was the total? Um, I don't feel like saying. Okay, it was just a lot of money. <laughs> Probably in like the 150 area. No, uh, close enough. Close to 150, which is crazy to me. I really wanna go on walmart.com and see how much all of this costs at Walmart. Because, I don't know, maybe I'm just like clueless to how much groceries cost in the States because I haven't been there in a while. You look handsome on camera. Shake. 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 We have a peace treaty. You get to sit in my spot for the rest of today if you shake my hand. Alright, now that's your spot for the rest of today.
everybody it is ashlyn from a few days later i was editing my vlog on my computer the vlog that you're watching right now i know i look awful so last night we had the worst storm that we've had since being here and it was awful it was super windy and it hailed it was probably the size of a ping pong ball and i just want to show y'all what it did to the house so as you can see there is debris everywhere um there's leaves everywhere jordan when he, he says when he comes home he's going to try to get everything kind of put away he wants a lot of the leaves to dry out so that he can just blow them into a pile which is a good idea but we did not expect this there was like supposed to be a huge storm a few days ago and it never came and so we everyone just kind of dismissed it but then this literally happened out of nowhere last night with no warning so our light got busted and all of this on the back of the house that you see is chipped it's some sort of plaster but it's all chipped and i really hope that this doesn't affect the insulation um of the house or anything luckily our tree is good but as you can see there's like twigs and everything everywhere which this is probably the biggest problem in my opinion but we also have another big problem luckily because we were only expecting thunderstorms and luckily jordan was like you know what let's put the cars under the carport because it's probably going to get bad and so this is the carport it has holes all in it which the landlord this is made out of plastic up here it's not metal so that was kind of like oopsie on his part but the plastic is still pretty thick so this is just kind of crazy to me like i said luckily the cars are fine i don't think we have any dents on them as from what we can tell but yeah the landlord came out today and i feel so bad because you could tell he was stressing this it was the first time i've heard an italian say mamma mia um he came out and he saw it all and that's what he said and i was like oh my gosh but yeah this is crazy what made it so bad was last night the hail when it came in it was coming in like almost sideways like i was like low-key scared for tornadoes but it's actually it just stopped raining so that's why i came out to show y'all but yeah last night was crazy and i will say that we are very lucky because i've seen people post on facebook pictures of their cars and houses and it's a lot worse than ours but very scary but i just wanted to end the vlog and show y'all what happened yesterday thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because i post weekly if you want to see more into my life living here in italy and i will catch y'all next week bye everybody Thank you.